Right now at 6, breaking news. Some lawmakers say recreational marijuana could be legal in Connecticut by the end of this year. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. They even went as far to say the medical marijuana growers have the extra capacity to provide retail marijuana for the first months of the program. Channel 3 Shante Passmore is live at the Capitol with what police departments are hoping lawmakers will consider. Shante? Dennis and Denise, right now, law enforcement is sounding the alarm when it comes to impaired driving. Unlike alcohol, it is difficult to detect if someone is too high before getting behind that wheel. Right now, state lawmakers say it's too early to tell how much revenue recreational pot will bring. But the $64,000 question for police departments. How do we know, how do we detect and say, okay, this is legally you shouldn't be on the road. It's why police departments like Suffield are asking lawmakers to not compromise safe driving. Detection is possible with highly trained officers, drug recognition experts. Far from your basic academy class, training for officers is comprehensive and long. It's something legislators are looking at in their bills. Also in that bill, we're providing provisions for both state and local law enforcement to get drug recognition experts trained uh, to recognize the science of driving while impaired. Such expertise is needed at a time when AAA revealed a poll showing young Connecticut drivers are more likely to drive high than drink. Even supporters of recreational pot admit the science and technology aren't there to properly detect. Some are saying pass the legislation and work out the details before selling. I would be open uh, to to holding back on re recreational sales only in the need for um, only when it comes to regulation and understanding what we're getting into. Back at the Suffield Police Department, it says it hasn't seen an uptick in crash rates, arrests for drugs and DUI since Massachusetts passed its law, but it's waiting to see the long term effects. This is all new stuff to us, and so time will tell where this is going to bring us. Because we already have growers for medicinal marijuana, lawmakers think they could get the ball rolling by the end of this year if those bills pass. They're looking at that transition period as a test. Next Friday, there will be a public hearing. Live in Hartford this evening, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.